It started so simple. She was walking down those stairs, those too smooth you might slip wooden stairs. She was wearing her socks. She was going to feed me. We were so hungry. We hadn't eaten since the night before. We thought breakfast would be there for us. Be there for us first thing in the morning. She tumbled down the stairs like a human avalanche. That hellish moment seemed to last for a finite infinity. Tumble, tumble, tumble. Bam! She landed on the floor, rushing to fast towards her, her neck shattered on the hardwood floor. I thought she died there. I wish she died there. She couldn't move. She was locked in her own body. The way her breathing sounded reminded me of a severe storm we had a while back. The wind was scraping at our house. She was so scared then. She's even more scared now, I can tell. We're starving. She's been on the floor for hours we haven't eaten in almost a day. She knows she is going to die slowly. We both feel the burning feeling of starving. I know she isn't going to make it, but I can. I just need a new source of food. I silently issue one last goodbye to my human and then begin eating. She can feel the pain. I know she can. But I know she is going to die, whether I eat her or not. I might as well ensure I get to see another day. I start by ripping her muscles apart and consuming. I then swallow any remaining bits of gristle in her now fleshless body. I tear through her skin. After I'm finished with her, I scurry away from her corpse, ready to move on to my next host.